from WMAR 2 News, Maryland's most accurate forecast. And we've been tracking this level two risk for strong storms this evening, and we've been watching that unfold. Currently, all of our area under a severe thunderstorm watch that lingers until nine o'clock, but also the potential for some isolated flooding due to heavy rain. I'm looking at you, Anne Arundel County, specifically because you've already had a lot of rain and there's more moving in. Here's the scene right now in the Annapolis Harbor. This image is not frozen. It is raining out there and it is coming down, reducing visibility. This is the second time I've seen a scene like this out there. Thankfully, this thunderstorm has not been rotating, but nonetheless, it's producing some heavy rain and some hail. That's been a little impressive at times right now. Severe thunderstorm warning uh, set to expire at 745 as this cell is pushing on off towards the east. We'll see if they continue that on the eastern shore. Uh, the hail has not been as impressive the last five minutes as it was at the beginning of the show, but note that some small hail embedded is possible. We're talking about 400 people being without power in Anne Arundel County county right now due to this thunderstorm, which is the same cell that moved through Montgomery County and has 6000 folks without power. So we'll be watching this and monitoring this storm as it moves through going to be watching areas south of the city for the next hour or so, because that's where most of the energy is moving onto the eastern shore. And then we'll see some energy move in from the northwest, bringing us here in Baltimore a chance of showers as we head into the late evening overnight hours. Temperatures sitting near 80 degrees courtesy of uh, the rain and the cloud cover that's been pushing into the area. 74 in Annapolis down to 73 in Stevensville. I think that if you're in the city and you're heading out, just be aware that we're going to have some of those showers and thunderstorms moving our way. Happen heading out to happy hour numbers down to 73 degrees by the 10 o'clock hour. And we're clearing out as we head into the morning, noticing a northwesterly component to the wind. That's going to be some drier air, less humid. It's also going to be cooler, so it's going to be a wind here. Lots of sunshine through your Friday afternoon and clearing skies for the evening. So going to be a beautiful day to go out to the park. If you're off work, spend as much time as you can outside. Morning numbers in the upper 60s, low 70s, climbing into the upper 70s for lunchtime. This is going to be a green light to eat outside here at lunchtime and then into the lower 80s for a couple of hours for the second half of the day and then we get a reinforcing cold front pretty dry so not expecting any uh, clouds or rain with this system lots of sunshine as we head into your Saturday and more cool more dry air so this is going to be perfect for folks that are getting up early in the morning to, to run that Baltimore 10 miler by the time that race gets started we're going to be in the mid 60s you couldn't ask for any better weather than that in June here upper 70s for the afternoon for everybody that's going out to the Anne Arundel County Fairgrounds for the Let's Go Music Festival up to 81 degrees by the two o'clock hour going to be a beautiful afternoon out there and if you're checking out the whalers tomorrow evening at power plant live shorts and t-shirts are what you're going to want comfortably in the upper 60s continue to monitor the tropics where we have no name system no tropical depression but one is likely to form as we head within the next two days seven day forecast which of course has your weekend in view is beautiful 80 degrees for your Sunday. We're looking at a few more clouds Monday with rain chances moving in overnight into Tuesday, hanging out in the mid 80s Wednesday and Thursday.